schedule. And then we have the receiving report records the receipt of uh, goods from the vendor. So the receiving report is going to be what is recording the goods that we're going to receive from the vendor. We discussed this in the purchasing process because, of course, the purchase of inventory is one of the things that we may purchase through the purchasing process. The receiving report we could think about basically on the warehouse. If we're in the warehouse, we're receiving the, the, the goods. If we purchased it, say, from like China, we're here in the U.S., we purchased something from China, it comes to us, then we're imagining ourselves in the warehouse and we have then, that's the point we put together the receiving report. Then we have the materials request, uh, requisition that is, materials requisition tracks material during the production process. So the material requisition it's going to be an internal form internal to the organization and that's going to be tracking the materials and we can think of it if you think of like a job cost system and we're making the inventory and then the materials requisition form may be the form that is used to move the materials say for making guitars we're moving the wood from the uh the inventory the raw goods to the work in process so that's going to be an internal type of documentation transferring possibly from one account to another one inventory account to another raw materials possibly to work in process which will finally be produced into the format of uh, finished goods finished inventory and then we have the inventory master file has information related to the business's inventory including the perpetual inventory records this is going to give us that the perpetual inventory records kind of like the subsidiary type le ledger that we might think of with regards to accounts receivable and accounts payable giving us basically that detail that will be involved that we're going to need with regards to inventory documents continued production data information has information about the transfer of goods and related cost incurred at each stage of production so as again we're thinking about as producing inventory in this case uh, production data has information about the transfer of goods and related costs incurred at each stage of that production level. Cost variance report. So now we have the variance report. Material, labor, and overhead costs will be charged to inventory during the manufacturing process. So when we make the goods, if we're making the inventory, we've got material, labor, and overhead. Those are the three components that we're going to have to consider in inventory if we produce the inventory. Uh, this is going to compare the actual cost to the standard or budgeted cost. So when we think about this, we're going to have a budget to the production process, often using something like, like standard costs, which are kind of like budgeted costs. And then we can take a look at the variance report, the difference report between what was budgeted for these components and, of course, what actually happened. And then we have the inventory status report has to, it's going to include or has the type and amount of products on hand so the inventory status report the types and the st the type and amount of products on hand and then the shipping order the shipping in order used to remove goods from the perpetual inventory sh uh, records so when we think about the shipping order we're thinking about the orders that are basically going out so we have the shipping order and that means if it's going out possibly we sold it and therefore, it's no longer uh, something that should be on our books. Therefore, this is the sh this is going to be the form that triggers the transaction that's going to be removing it from uh, typically the inventory on the business's books.